was quoted. Oh, she left some time ago. I thought you two had all sorts of work to do. Oh, we did, but we'd just about finished, and then Brian came by and he wanted to take her to lunch, so I insisted. Did you see Grand Putnam? Yep, I tracked him down. He was having lunch in the greenhouse with uh, Celia. Celia? That's odd. Well, he wasn't too impressed about my interrupting him. Well, I hope Celia's not getting herself into trouble. You know, the machinations of the female mind will always amaze me. How can having lunch possibly get anyone into trouble? Ah, uh, just a little intuition. Forget it. What did Grant say about the findings on Dr. Campbell's coat? <sighs> Mention of the marine traces didn't faze him at all. He um, said that Campbell is an ardent fisherman, and that's the reason that there was marine life on his coat. Oh, but that's ridiculous. It's an overcoat, right? English wool. Robert, no man wears an overcoat to go fishing. I thought of that. Besides, the fishing season hasn't even opened yet. I'm going to call that New York lab and see if they can narrow this down a bit more. Yeah, in what way? Maybe identify those marine traces, give me an idea where they may have come from, either around here or England, perhaps. Hmm, that might help, if they can do it. Are you going to go and query New York right now? No point in waiting, right? Can I come with you into the communications room? I'm really sorry about what happened earlier on today, and I, I just, I'm interested. Yeah. I promise not to interfere. Holly, I never said that you interfered. I like talking to you, and I appreciate your ideas. I, I try to help. Mm. Just remember one thing. What? Don't do it alone. 